What is going on, YouTubers? Android Zone here from AndroidBlackspot.com right now with AT&T Galaxy Note 2, and I'm gonna show you how to flash the latest clean ROM for your AT&T Verizon Rogers Note 2. And uh, firstly, I wanna apologize because I did not make a review of the 3.0 version. That's the older version of this ROM. That is because I was quite behind and uh, somebody told me there is already a new version out so I went ahead and checked it out and uh, I seems tend to do a review on this one and I want to do how to because there is one concern that I have that you might mess it up so let's go ahead and do it together so to flash this go ahead and click in the link description download the ROM itself you need to have rooted phone as well and we are going to go ahead and boot into clock recovery or twrp depending on what recovery you got so make sure you got rooted and custom recovery you can do this by three ways use that is called expanded power menu and you can use that uh, did i just reboot what the heck but you can press on recovery and use that to boot into clock home recovery other way is if you got 15 my toggles on the tab scroll all the way back and you will have option to boot into clock home recovery from there and the third option is to download an application called quick boot from your play store and it requires a root permission again and you can boot into clock more recovery from then and the last option is the hardware so go ahead and power off your phone once the phone is powered off completely you will see these lights go off all three of them will be turned off and that's when your phone is completely off right now it's still doing something so we are going to go ahead and wait until those lights turns off As you heard the vibration, it turned off. Now we're gonna press power, volume up, and home button. That screen let go of the power button. Keep pressing the other two. And you will be in two clock on recovery. Just like that. I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. And now here you're going to firstly back up your ROM, current ROM or current setup, whatever you're running. Highly recommend that so if anything goes bad, you can always come back and restore it. I already have my backup ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe. If you want to know how to correctly back up your Note 2, there's a link popping up right here on the Samsung logo. Go ahead and click there and find out in the video. After you factory reset, go ahead and wipe cache. I wanna just factory reset again to double check everything is wiped. After that, we are going to go install zip from SD card and choose the internal and scroll down and find the file. This is the 4.0. And yes, you want to install that. And if you could see down there is all your process and the clean ROM. So this is what you call Aroma Installer. If you have not heard of it, uh, this is a really custom installer that you could use to Flash ROM. And author is Scott. I wanna really go ahead and thank him for that. And it was created on the 4th of January. We're gonna hit next. Then these are the versions, all other. I'm gonna select a TNT because that's what I have and here is where all the customization starts popping up you got TouchWiz Launcher, TouchWiz 4x5, TouchWiz 4x6, Apex, Nova, whichever one you want to install I'm gonna go ahead and go with the stack always I like if you want the stack 
my files or the ES file manager. I recommend the stock one because if you want to install or if you want to have custom ringtones that is needed to select the ringtones on SD card as it says there, you can always go ahead and download ES file manager from your Play Store. So I'm going to hit next one there. Now these are the application. I want to have Street View for Maps, so I'm going to select that. Voice Google Plus. I'm going to have Voice. Enter next. And if you want any of this, I really don't use it. So these are the bloatware. These are the features it got multi window control, ad blocking host file, Dropbox, terminal emulator, Polarize Office 4, and Adobe Flash. It comes with Adobe Flash. This is not officially supported on Jelly Bean per Google, but as a sweet developer always gets it done. And now the process of the installation is begin or has begun really bad at English because it, it's not my first language, not second, not third either. So it's a language I speak, that's all. So as you can see, it will take quite a while for it to finish. I'll be back once it gets close to be done. Hey guys, so as you could see, it's quite done or it's finished. Uh, it took about four to five minutes. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hit next from here and finish the process in Aroma Installer and go back to our Clock of my Recovery. And this is the part why I wanted to do this video and uh, how to video because I already done the one for 3.0 but this is where I thought you probably wanted to do it there's gonna be another file MWC fix so make sure you go ahead and flash after that ROM 2 go back and reboot the system now MWC is the multi window control application which temp to failed on the developer so he had to get another version of that application and put it on so now the phone is going to start rebooting and uh, I will do full review because I've been using this ROM for quite a while now so I used to it some features are all the one that you saw another one I if I recommend if I remember correctly is you can hold volume button to skip tracks that is one of the common feature that people want. Other feature include Wi-Fi tether, unsecured boot image, and it zip lines all the applications on add boot. And performance and stability that is nothing sort of legendary for this one. So it's quite awesome that this developer takes time to make the ROM or the stock file stock ROM perform better on your phone so once this phone boots up I'm gonna go ahead and take off from here and you will have to come back for the full review of this ROM and uh, if you haven't please feel free to subscribe like my videos I always thank you guys for watching because you guys are supporting me one way or other and this phone still has some time to boot up because it's flashing new system as I always say that when you flash a new full system the phone itself needs time to settle down because you wiped the system before and this is installing a new system and there you go that is the setup wizard and you can go ahead and start that setup wizard sign in Restore your applications, not data, and start doing everything, whatever we want to do. And I will be back with full review.